Hey guys, it's me, Ron Williams. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. I want to talk to you a little bit today about working the triceps. We talked about biceps, how to get bigger biceps, but triceps, see the, bi the bicep is only a two-headed muscle, but we have the tricep, which is a three-headed muscle. If you really want your arms to be bigger, many of us work on the bicep, but the tricep has a third more muscle that we have the ability to build. So I'm gonna to talk to you about the tricep, how to build that tricep, a three-headed muscle. Now, no matter what, when you extend your arm, you're working the tricep, all three heads. But there are different positions that if you get in that position, you'll work a certain head a little more than the other. So how do we do that? And how do we get those arms to really grow? We have the lateral head, we have the long head, and we have the medial head. Now, in order to work that long head of the tricep, because it actually ties in to the scapula, you have to have your hands overhead to actually affect and uh, isolate that part of the tricep. When you're doing regular tricep pull downs, I mean push downs, you're really isolating the outer head. We want to turn the hands over like this. You're going to work the whole tricep, but it's really going to hit that medial, that, that medial head. And I want to show you what that looks like. Now, part of the problem with the tricep is that uh, there are certain exercises that really hit the triceps hard, but they also hit the elbow joint even harder. So there are certain exercises I want you to stay away from because we don't want to damage that elbow joint. Because once you build that tricep, if you damage the joint, you'll never be able to use that tricep because it's so painful. You'll never be able to push very much weight. So we want to make sure that we warm the muscles up. We get that joint nice and warm before we actually work that muscle. Let's get started. Okay, oftentimes, guys, you hear me say, squeeze the muscle before you extend the limb that's attached to the muscle. What does that look like? Say, for instance, you have this grip. There's, a, there's foam on this grip. So before you ever extend that, that limb, you want to uh, squeeze the muscle first. Squeeze. And if you, could, if you were this foam, you would feel me uh, pressing against you. Just like that. So with that being said, when you're in this position, instead of extending the arm first, you squeeze the muscle first. And then as you squeeze the muscle, use that muscle to force the forearm down, rather than forcing the forearm down, causing the muscle to contract. Huge difference. So you squeeze first all the way down. I like making that noise. That feels good when I do that. Did you know you're actually 20% stronger when you exhale? So when you're pushing, yeah. oh, you're stronger. Okay, now I'm gonna demonstrate that for you here. Okay, I can take the weight, get it into position, and push it down, and push it down. And I could do that over and over. This weight is not really, it's really not that heavy. So I can take this weight and go shh, 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 shh. Not much to that, right? But if I take the weight here and I isolate, squeeze the muscle first, then contract. All the way down. Question, how fast should I go? Should it be on the positive phase, the two count? And on the negative phase, to stretch that muscle back out, a four count, not necessarily. It needs to be completely controlled. And when you control it, if it's three seconds down and five seconds back or four seconds back, it doesn't matter that much. The important thing is you have complete control over it. Now, if I'm putting my head to the side of the weight, if I'm going to the side of the weight, do you know what that's an indication of? I'm bringing other muscle groups in to assist me. So that would look like this. Ooh. Ooh. 
I can lift more weight that way. But if I stay right in the middle, just concentrating on that tricep. Okay, that's the lateral head. Let's go to the medial. Here we go. Squeeze first. You wonder sometimes when you're in the gym, why these guys are making so much noise? I, I can tell you why I make noise. I make noise for several reasons. One, I'm a noise maker. Number two, I know when I exhale, I'm 20% stronger. Number three, it just feels good. Some people do it because of attention. They have hardly any weight and they're ah, so everybody can look at them. It doesn't matter if you look at me or not. If you do, it's not gonna stop me. If you don't, I'm not gonna try to get your attention. But I know what it's doing. 20% stronger. I need all the strength that I can get because my strength is closely related to muscle size. Here we go. <laughs> Just kidding. Was I convincing there? Anyway, that's the medial head. Now I'm gonna show you the long head. Okay, here we go guys. Overhead. Okay, here we're in the position. And remember, we're squeezing and you're gonna force your hands towards the ceiling. Oh yeah, okay, that hits the long head of the muscle. So just a short recap. First of all, we did the tricep pushdowns, the regular pushdowns, and we're concentrating on that lateral head. Concentrating on squeezing the muscles first, then extending. Then we did the reverse grip, and we're contracting first and extending all the way down. Sometimes the weight is at least a third less on the reverse tricep pushdowns as it is on the regular overhand pushdowns. The reason why we're doing that is we're changing the angle. All three exercises that you saw me do, they're hitting all three heads, but it isolates one a little more than the other. So no matter what, when you're doing those tricep pushdowns, you're hitting the tricep, but let's maximize and get those triceps pumped. Try it, tell me what you think. God bless you till next time. Coach out.